As we put the finishing touches on what can only be described as a historic 2008, many are speculating about what 2009 will have in store. Now, some of the obvious answers include the inauguration of President-elect Barack Obama. There will be spending, there will be cutbacks throughout the world, and preventing even more economic turmoil. Now, our next guest is considered one of the world's top trend spotters, and she joins us now with a preview for what may be untapped for 2009. Marianne Salzman joins us now, and the first thing you've talked about is you're predicting a global reboot. You've got to explain to me what that is. Think about it when your computer's screwed up and IT tells you to reboot. We've got to do that with all of our systems. Our security systems are broken. Our economic systems are broken. Our early warning systems are broken. And it's just like the computer. We've got to reboot everything. We've got to figure out what is it that it's going to take to isn't get that everything. Isn't that, though, how do you do that? Because, you know, you reboot and you're down for a while. It's completely off. Well, it's pretty much where we are right now. Isn't, that, you know, isn't it more like we would have to change a tire while the vehicle's moving? Um, that, I think that's pretty much what we're going through right now. I think Vanity Fair referred to it as we would know we were in a depression if we weren't so repressed. <laughs> I mean, we're in a repression right now, right. but that's where we are, we, and we're about to reboot. And one of the things that you do is you focus on the long term, and you're saying it's all about the consumer right now and a shift in their behavior. What is that? Um, we've given up. I think the greed is good stage. Um, we are recognizing that we're entering a phase where value and values are what it's going to be about. People are going to look for things that have more meaning because we also have a lot less cash. Right. And we're going to have even less cash in 2009. Now, you talk about cuspers. What are cuspers? Uh, I think they're Generation Jones. It's the late stage baby boomer. It's people born 1955 to 1964. I think suddenly they're going to be symbolized by Caroline Kennedy, Barack Obama. So it's, these aren't baby boomers per se? No, thank goodness. There's finally a name <laughs> Woo, for us. Thank you, yeah. Exactly. We've been liberated. I don't want to be a baby boomer because technically liberated. someone told me I was. No, we've been liberated. Those guys made all the money and we're left with their problems. You know, in my mind, they are symbolized by SUVs, by those gas guzzling cars, by the fact they had big payouts. Some people refer to them as they are the pre. IPO, Goldman Sachs partners, they're the ones that made all the money mm -hmm. and were left to pick up the trash. So they have the SUVs and we have the skateboards. You <laughs> talk about Chicago playing a big role next year. Chicago is going to be, I think, the new place to go and measure trends. I mean, they're the yin and the yang. They're the best of. I mean, they've produced all of the um, positive new people that are going to go off to Washington and try to make a difference. They've also produced some of the worst garbage that's going on right now. Um, in many ways, it's where America's um, standing up and saying, hang on, we need to make changes. They're the place where the people said we've got to be part of the bailout. Mm -hmm. They're the ones where they said, B of A, you've got to help us by starting here and giving us our fair shake of the, of the bailout. So they won't be second city anymore, they'll be first city. Yeah, and think of the contribution they've made to Saturday Night Live and think of the contribution <laughs> Tina Fey made to the election. That's true. Now you also talk about something called third place or third placers. Well, third place and the third space that the media is going to play. I mean, we have home, we hope we still have work or education, some place to go to to, uh, to sort of earn a living. And media is going to be our third space, our escape space. I mean, in the worst case or the best case, people have found love there. They found, I mean, uh, in Second Life, they found an alternative life, a parallel universe. But it's going to be the place people are going to go to, whether it's the New York Times, it's foxnews.com. It's going to be the place people are going to go to find an alternative parallel universe. It's going to be where they're going to browse, mm -hmm. where they're going to communicate, where they're going to commune, where they're going to find a place to relax and find respite. I have 20 seconds. Will 2009 be better than 2008? It's going to be more peaceful because we're going to expect less. Okay. Thank you very much, Mary. Thank I really you. appreciate it.